Ahoy, salty dogs! Welcome to the moon! My name is Lens Cap, and this is Stationeers. Uh, today we're playing uh, on the moon. Uh, this is episode number two. Since the last episode, I've done a couple of things. Uh, mostly easy stuff. I just kind of moved all the things up onto this little platform we made and kind of made it look a little bit nicer. Um, I went for a good mining trip, and I've got a little bit of iron left to smelt up from that. So I'm working on doing that. Um, I just spent all night running the furnace, trying to smelt this iron as quickly as I can. Uh, just to see, you know, how much power draw we really had available to us. This battery is at about medium capacity now, so that's not going to fly at all. We're going to need a better power storage situation. All I did was run the furnace all night. I didn't even turn on any of the machines, really. So, uh, so we need to take care of that. Um, how much has this got left? Three grams? Alright, let's go ahead and put our next chunk of ore in there. And then, uh, I think that's the end of it. Um, on my mining trip, I broke my helmet. It's cracked. There's a crack in my helmet. So, I figured we'd make a new one. I'm just gonna put this away for now. So, I made this tool maker. And uh, I haven't made a helmet yet, so I figured we'd do that together. So, let's turn this on and build space helmet. Um, if you click the next, it keeps you f only building one. It prevents you from building a second one, as I understand. Yeah, so there, now we've got a new helmet. So I think I can just hold one and swap them out. That one's light is on by default. Okay, cool. Um, cool, so now we have a new space helmet. Um, I built these other two machines as well. The recycler and the centrifuge. Um, I understand that these have pretty heavy power draws, right? So I don't necessarily want to be using these all the time until we upgrade our power. Um, we'll make steps towards that today though, I think. But let's try this out, and I think our broken helmet is the perfect thing to, to try these out with for the first time. So you should be able to just put the space helmet in there and then turn this on. Yeah, look at that. It, it shreds it out, grinds it up. And spits out... Oh, what was that? Some kind of chunk of reagents or something. Uh, but then you can put that in the centrifuge and turn that on. And it spits out copper and gold. Even though the space helmet was iron and silicon. Okay, but I need both iron and gold. So, or copper and gold. I need both of those, so that's fine. Alright, let's put this away. And then I think we can get started on today's project. Uh, I want to upgrade our power situation. Um, you can see we charge our battery really quickly, but we also drain it really quickly at the evening as well. <laughs> Let's play with the sign. Uh, I found that in the construction kit. That was kind of cool. Hi, Mom. And, um... Yeah, so I think uh, we should upgrade that battery. Now, to upgrade the battery, we need to make, in this electronics printer, printer a thing called a, let's see, where is it? Uh, it is called a, it's like a large battery, like a stationary battery, like a station battery, something like that. Um, kit battery, that's what we need. And for that, we need steel. Uh-huh, so steel is an alloy. How do you make alloys? Well, we need a thing called the furnace. So let's turn this off when we're not using it. Now let's hop over to our printer here. We need to make a furnace. So let's go ahead and print ourselves a furnace. That's going to take copper and iron. Uh, I got tons of both, so I'm not worried. I guess not tons. I got grams of both, really. Realistically, it's just grams of both. But I've got lots of both. Uh, that's going to take a while to craft. Okay, um, there was one other thing I wanted to craft... In the meantime, uh, ooh, I may not be able to, though, because all of my loot, all of my um, materials are in this right now that's being used. Um, I saw there were kit lights. Um, kit lights. And I wanted to make some lights uh, so that during the night, this place isn't so G G D dark. It's dark as heck, man. I can't even handle it. It's so dark, so uh, we'll put lights. Maybe we'll make light poles. Um, I don't think there's actually a way to do light poles, but what we can do is just 
put the power input, paint it black or something, and raise it up so that it's up off the ground a little bit. It looks kind of like a street light then. That could be good. And, uh, and that way we get uh, some lighting here on the base. All right, 62%. Um, let's let that finish, and then we'll check out the furnace. Oh, check this out. I have this amusing bug going on right now where the things in these slots don't resize properly. So they're all, like, the standard size of what they are instead of the slot size. Like, that's not quite right, that active vent. Uh, but if we take it out, I don't even know where it is. Oh, it's in this slot. If we take it out and put it back, like, that fixes its size. So, so that it fits again. Some of these things. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. But anyway, uh, let's get this printed. Oh, 97%? Okay, well, we killed enough time looking at that bug. Um, what else did I do while I was out mining? Okay, that's finished. Um, while I was out mining, I found some of these other rare ores. Uh, rare, I guess, not necessarily rare, but stuff we'll need later. Lead, silver, silicon, coal, that kind of stuff. We'll probably use that coal today. Um, okay, where do we put this furnace? Um, we don't need this a lot, to be honest. Like, I know you can smell ores and stuff in it, um, but I think we'll keep using the arc furnace for now. Let's just put it over here on the back of everything. Um, if we put it right here like this, then it's still accessible. Although, I would like to be able to do some pipe work and stuff stuff. If I put it right here, is that good? It doesn't matter. We're going to move all this stuff later. I have an idea for a base, uh, for the base we want to make. And, uh, but first we got to get some things together. You know, we got to get ready for that. So let's put the furnace here. Um, the furnace is interesting in that it doesn't work off of power. It works off of pressure. So we need to build up pressure in the furnace. And we actually have quite a few things already. Um, that we can utilize to do this. So, the furnace, let's see, you put in your ingredients in the top, your materials in the top, your output is on the bottom, and then on the back you have these two pipes. There's an input pipe uh, and an output pipe, and I got those reversed. The input's on the bottom. And then from these, you can kind of adjust pressure and stuff like that. You can feed it various gases uh, so that you get it running at the right temperature and pressure, and, uh, and that's all very well in good and useful um, for now though I don't have those things those gases so we're just gonna play with the output for now um, I want to swap this valve uh, the valve is gonna be important to us because it's gonna let us um, gas the system basically release all the gases from the system okay and then you don't have to use an active vent here but that's what they provided me with can I not place this here? I may have to build this um, a little bit. Okay, so let's do that then. Um, we just need an iron sheet. Let's throw these on the ground for a minute. I know I have some, not the frames, the sheets. And we need our welder. So let's get that out. Let's turn it on. And we'll just build this up a stage. One stage is enough. All right, turn off the welder, put it away. We'll put away these iron sheets as well. Grab this. I think we're done with the pipes. I'm just going to put them back right there. Hello. Go back right there. Thanks. And uh, we'll do this. I'll wire it up to power between things. Uh, maybe this has to connect to an actual pipe then. Okay. Well, I'll finish wiring this up. But basically, the idea here is that we can use... Oh, let me do that. We can, uh, we can put pressure and materials in the furnace... We can use this valve to keep the pressure in here, or we can open it and send the pressure outwards um, and, and sh launch it out of the furnace. For now, we're launching these gases out into the atmosphere. Um, there's not really an atmosphere here, but y you get what I'm saying. And uh, ideally, we'd be saving these uh, for use later, but I'm not concerned right now. Right now, I just want the steel. So uh, let me wire this up real quick and get a couple of more things together. Um, the sun is setting, so actually that presents us with a good opportunity to do the next thing we need to do, which is we need to go do a little bit more mining. Uh, I've done a lot of mining today, but some of these things that we need for this specifically 
We can only really get at night. Um, now you can get them during the day, but what happens if you get them during the day? When you put them in your hand, they melt. They just melt. So we need volatiles, um, which is H2, which is um, rocket fuel, basically. And we need ice. Um, I think this is oxide, right? Which is not what we're looking for. So we want ice specifically. Um, this is oxide ice, but we want, it's just called ice. Or do we want the oxide? Actually, I think we want the oxide. Let's grab some of this. And I'm going to look for some, we don't need a lot, and I'm going to look for some volatiles as well. I'll finish that piping, and then uh, I'll catch back up with you then. All right, cool. So I've got everything I need. Uh, I've got this all wired up. Um, it's the day. It took me longer to find volatiles than I thought it would. Um, but I wanted to demonstrate, I'm glad it's still day, uh, I wanted to demonstrate what happens when you hold the volatiles in your hand. Um, let me just make sure, yeah, I forgot to turn that off. So, volatiles, right? I only have six, but I'm going to demonstrate with the ice. So if I pull the ice out of my hand, you can see the number is declining. Uh, it's actually melting under the sunlight. So ideally we do this at night. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about the materials melting. Now I don't need a lot of these things, but I do need a precise amount. Um, until then though, we can go ahead and load in our, our equipment that we our equipment, our ores that we do need um, that don't melt. So first we need uh, three stacks of iron. So the ratio is three iron to one coal. And then uh, you need a specific amount of volatiles and, uh, and ice oxide as well. All right, so there's 100 grams up here. So one more thing of iron like that. Uh, we can grab our coal, which I have, is that one coal? That one's coal. So there's 50 coal right there. So that's all we need there. Uh, these other two iron, let's just throw these in the furnace. The arc furnace, specifically. The furnace, oh, there's still gold smelting up in there. Okay, we'll just put them in this cabinet, whatever. And next we need these oxide and stuff. Uh, I'm going to wait till the sun sets for that, though. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous that it's going to melt in my hand, and I didn't find very much. All right, perfect, perfect. So we need a very specific mix. It's nighttime now. Hi, welcome back. It's nighttime. Um, we, we need a very specific mix of these two uh, materials, the ice oxide and the ice volatiles. Now at nighttime they won't melt. Uh, I guess the solar radiation causes them to melt or something like that. Um, we need one of these and two of these. Let me just double check. Yeah, 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 yeah. One ice and two volatiles. Uh, so what we can do with them holding in, with them held in one hand, we can hit R and split one off and split another one off. And uh, there, so now we've got two. Um, now here's the thing about this volatiles. I can't really store this anywhere. If I put it in, maybe it'll store in here if I close the lid. But if I open the lid during the day, it starts to melt. So that's not gonna work. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing here. We'll just split one and then we'll put the rest in this chest. And I guess we'll just have to avoid uh, closing that chest. Where did that rot? Where'd that go off to? Oh, I found it. Cool, I need you. All right, so now that we've got our um, our things here, um, our reagents, we can put in the two volatiles and the one oxide. And now we have a reading on this gauge, but really nothing is happening until we hit start. Uh, so once we hit activate, we should see the furnace contents turn into steel. So here we go. We'll produce 200 grams of steel ingot. Perfect. And then I think really all we have to do is pull this, pull this handle. We'll produce. I don't think we have to wait any specific time. I think we just do it. Yeah, we did it. Cool. And we got 200 grams of steel. Oh, baby. Okay, this is great. And now the furnace is going to hold that temperature and pressure. Mostly. It bleeds it off slowly, but it, it will. Um, 
uh, unless we do something about it. So let's go ahead and do something about that just for funsies. Let's open this valve. Actually, let's turn this on first. This one is on. And then if we open the valve, we should see the atmosphere escaping. Or am I sucking it in? Yeah, no, that's working. Right? Yeah, that's sucking it in. That's pushing it out. Okay, we did great. We did great. Okay, now, uh, before the day happens again, I'd like to install this, this large battery kit. So let's turn this on and put in our steel. Uh, this also means we can update these small batteries into larger ones. That will be really, really nice. Uh, we do need to turn on the auto lathe and eject the components that are in this. Um, I did not know the ingots had a maximum stack size. That's good to know. Okay, so we need steel, iron, and I think we need copper. I think these are the things we need for this. And, oh yeah, lights. We can make lights as well eventually. Okay, let's find this kit battery again. And we need, uh, steel, copper, and gold. My, my B. My B. We didn't need the iron at all. Okay, we'll put the gold in. That's fine. Let's print this. Uh, I only want to make one for now. Eventually we'll update uh, to having more, but there's our battery. Let's go ahead and print those lights too while we're at it. Um, kit S lights. There we go. Let's print this. I have no idea what this actually is. <laughs> I haven't ever actually made one of these, so I'm, I'm kind of curious. Yeah, is this a light? It's a kit because we can change what it looks like. Okay, cool. Okay, but this battery is a construction thing. Now this has to go in a frame, um, or on a frame, I guess. It can't, uh, but it can't just be placed out in the world. So we'll need to get a steel frame, or we can just use this one. Um, to be honest, let's do that. That's a little bit easier. So let's get our proper tool belt. Uh, let's take off the mining belt. Swap it for the tool belt and put it on. And then I need my drill, no, my wrench, to remove this iron frame, just like that. Uh, maybe we put that back on later, maybe we don't care. Okay, but this will go in right here just fine. All right, we're gonna put this like this. Uh, yeah, just like that. Should we stick it out one more so that we can maybe get to it a little bit more easily? That way we can maybe play with the wiring a little bit more easily, I'm not sure. Okay, so what we want to do is take this line, this is our output from the solar panels. We want to run that into the back of this battery. And we want to run our main power from the front of the battery. Um, basically we can just run this straight over like this. Now I want the APC still, uh, but I want it after the battery and connected only to the solar panel power. Um, that way the solar panel control is on a battery backup. That's what the APC is going to do for us. It'll give us basically a battery backup. Um, should this battery ever fail, then we won't be high and dry without uh, and have to manually control our solar panels. All right, I'm going to wire that up. Wiring is a pain, so I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. And uh, I'll be back in just a sec. All right, that should just about do it right right that's right uh, let's put away our tools here pick this guy up put him away there we go now I I have this little problem though I can't exactly see how much charge I have if it's low I mean I can walk over here and see it I guess so that's not so bad it could be worse I also didn't hook this up yet. I'll have to hook that back up, but I'll probably move it over here. I could just remove this frame. I I guess that would work just fine. I don't know. That's not the permanent spot for that battery. But anyway, um, that's what we've got for today. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. <laughs> but either way, I'm learning stuff about this game all the time. Every time I play it, I'm learning something new. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in on this experience with me. If you're new to the channel and you really like space games or survival games or all of the above, um, I invite you to subscribe and hang out with us, uh, join the Discord and all that. There's links in the description. And until next time, guys, stay tuned.